Hi everyone, it's Christine with the Byron Library, and today I'm going to talk about why your houseplants don't hate you. I believe everyone has the ability to have a green thumb, so I'm just going to give you a few quick, simple tips on how to keep your houseplants happy and healthy. So my first tip is before you buy your plants, have a location in mind. Is it a sunny spot, a shady spot? That way you can check the plant tag before you purchase it at the nursery. Also, if you have the ability to take the plant out of the pot, I would recommend checking the roots. Roots should always be white. If they're brown, that equals death. Uh, look for any sort of fungus or bug infestations as well before purchasing your plants. My next tip is on watering. I would say uh, over and under watering is probably the number one cause of death in plants. Uh, before I water, I usually take my finger and check the soil about an inch down. If it's moist at all, skip watering. Uh, the exception is cacti. Cacti like it very dry. I only usually water mine about once a month. My next tip is on fertilizer. Most people remember to water their plants, but they forget to fertilize. Uh, if your plants are turning any sort of colors, whether it's yellow, brown, purple, or anything like that, uh, they probably have some sort of nutrient deficiency. Um, I recommend fertilizing at least every other time you water, if not every time, during the active growing season, which we all know is spring and summer. Uh, during the winter, you can really scale back and even sometimes completely stop fertilizing your plants. Uh, my next tip is temperature. Uh, most plants are like people and they like it between 65 and 75 degrees. Anything uh, too hot or too cold, they won't be happy with. Uh, they also do not like drafts, so make sure you don't have them next to a drafty window, door, or next to a heating vent that could cause them to dry out. And my last tip, um, if you have a house plant that just seems to not be doing well, it hasn't really grown for a while, go ahead and just repot it in some fresh soil. Uh, maybe transfer it to a bit of a larger pot and let the roots be able to spread out and grow. And those are all my tips. Thanks for watching.